facing one issue let me and i figure out the root cause as well so let me create first uh, init.py file which was the root cause of the issue so previously what was there what was the situation so i had one test package inside it i had i init.py file and there is one test file which contains one test class and two test methods so whenever i was running test so with this command let me run it so what was happening uh, selenium uh, i mean pytest was running the these two tests twice and the reason behind that was this init.py file because this is a special file uh, it whenever a package is being loaded whenever a package is loaded the very first file that is executed is the init.py inside that package and then all other files and subdirectories are loaded so i init.py is the is the special file in python language so whenever i was running the test so test methods were searchable through two ways one from the init.py file and other from the test file itself that's why the tests were running twice here my test has completed and here in this report here we can see there are four tests mentioned that is not correct because there is there are only two tests so and here as well we if you go and check so here we can see the same test the same test were ran twice here the same test were ran twice so this is the reason the of uh, having count of four instead of two so and this was happening let me stop the report and this was happening due to this init.py file as i explained already let me remove this file and run the test shoot again and this time it will only trigger each test one time only now there is no init.py file and there is only one way uh, to search these two methods test methods through this test file only and that's why this time test will be run once only let's wait hmm okay tests are run already and here we have two test cases passed and if i go to timeline there are only two tests and that solves our problem and here in our console we can see only the test ran once only so that is the fix that solves our problem just remove the ini file from your test directory so yeah that's it in this video Thank you.